The following experiment was supervised by weapon specialists and medical personnel. Please do not attempt to recreate these events yourself. There's a lot of zombie games out there, and my personal favorites happen to be the ones by Valve, the Left 4 Dead series here. But it doesn't matter who makes the games, they all have one thing in common, and that is, you have to hit the zombies in the head. Everybody knows that. But the survivors in these games, they tend to be people like accountants and gas station attendants. And it really doesn't seem to me that the average person walking down the street who has very little experience with firearms could just pick up a gun and instantly start scoring headshots. Could they? So, the first ingredient in any zombie apocalypse is zombies. And I guess we could have gone out and got a bunch of actors to dress up in old clothing and walk around like, uh, but there's only one problem with that. We can't shoot them. We can't legally shoot them. So, I asked Griffin to come up with some kind of alternative for us. Griffin, what do you got? Well, I've got these zombie dummies on rolling platforms. Uh huh. The bodies are made out of PVC pipe, paper, tape. The arms are made out of wire. And I see here we have a nice watermelon for a head. And for added measure, we went ahead and carved <laughs> some faces. I love it. I love it. It looks both spooky and delicious. And if there's one thing that we've learned about our test subjects, it's that they're morons. And so anything we can do to clearly <laughs> illustrate this is the head, the better they'll be, I guess. Right. Do you want to see how they're going to do? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so we have our zombie horde assembled and we have our apocalypse all ready to go. All we need are some survivors. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's up? Surviving. Joining us as always, our test subjects number one and number eight. What? Can you tell us a little bit about your experience with firearms? Well, I fired a lot of guns in the army. But when was the last time you actually fired a gun? It's been over 10 years, I guess. 10 years, so you're out of practice then I would say. Yeah. So you'll be like our disgruntled old veteran like Bill from Left 4 Dead. Well, I am disgruntled. Perfect. Okay, and how about you? What's your experience with firearms? Uh, I grew up hunting in a rural area. Perfect. So you'll be our wannabe redneck Ellis then. And what do you have experience with? Uh, a lot of handguns and assault rifles. Handguns and shotguns. Okay, that's perfect. Because what do we have here on the table in front of us oh. but handguns and shotguns? So why don't we flip to see who gets what weapon? No, I'll just take the pistol. No, no, shotgun. guys, you don't get to say what you're going to have. You just have to take what's available, right? But right, they're fine. both available. All right. So Gus, you're first. You call it. All right, heads. You get the pistol. What? All right. Good luck, buddy. Come on, Bill. Join me over here. I think it's broken. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. We have six tracks with zombies on them. And the first wave is gonna be one zombie, second wave is gonna be two, third round will be three. And as everybody knows, zombies are really only dangerous in numbers. So I guess it's up for the shooter to decide what strategy they want to adopt. <laughs> Gus, are you ready? Okay, here they come! So, according to my tally, you got six out of seven. What was wrong with that one shot that you missed? I don't know. Must have been distracted thinking of World of Warcraft or something. You were waiting for your mana to build back up. <laughs> if those zombies had dodgeballs, <laughs> or if they were picking teams for basketball, you wouldn't stand a fucking chance. All right, Jeff, you're up. Good luck. All right. We're all depending on you. Well, I think today we learned a little bit about surviving the zombie apocalypse and a lot about the value of a shotgun over a pistol. Wouldn't you guys say? I like the electric guitar myself. <laughs> yeah, you should probably clean those out before you try eating that stuff. Now, Griffin, 
Whenever we post one of these experiments online, people are always telling us we didn't take the experiment quite far enough. And I'm sure they'll tell us this time that we didn't actually have someone with zero firearms experience fire the gun. So do you have any firearms experience? No, not at all. All right, well, which would you prefer to take out our last friend here to defend humanity, the shotgun or the pistol? Doesn't the shotgun hurt? The shotgun is an excellent choice, and <laughs> we'll find out if it hurts very soon. Okay, all right, ready, pull up, and pull!